point of this brief briefing is just to make everyone aware of it, that we're going into some tough times. So this year, we're doing quite a bit worse than we were last year at this time. Conditions in the Northwest are pointing to a worsening drought. Scientists from across the region talked about their concerns in a news briefing yesterday. And meteorologist Sophia Bliss listened in on that meeting and she joins us now to walk us through it all. Sophia. Shira, scientists from all different disciplines talked at yesterday's meeting to help provide the full picture of what we might see in the months ahead. They say for the most part, we need about 150 to 200 percent more precipitation than normal to get out of drought conditions. And they're not sure that we'll see that. In some of those areas that are most impacted by drought, we would need 150 to 200 percent or more of normal precipitation over the next two months to ameliorate those drought conditions. The odds of getting that much precipitation are considerably less than 50 percent, something like one to maybe seven percent. So the chances of catching up are really, really low. In the next couple of weeks, it looks like we're going to get, um, you know, some moisture into the Pacific Northwest. And the green colors there west of the Cascades of Washington and Oregon State and it suggests that the models are at least indicating uh, what are the normal conditions there, but not really a relief for eastern Oregon and southern Idaho where we really need it. Part of the reason the region dried out over January and February is because of a persistent high pressure center. It sat closer to the west coast than it normally does this time of year and diverted storms away from our area. At this point, the message we're getting out is that we expect southern Idaho to continue in drought. We might end up with a more mild drought than last year, um, but we could also see drought intensify. And it's not just about the rain and the snow that we're not getting. That's only part of the picture. The region has seen three years of abnormally dry and warm conditions. That taxes our entire water system. Plants and soil are much drier and catch fire more easily. Streams and rivers are running low. Reservoirs are historically low and warmer temperatures makes more water evaporate. Looking ahead to spring, though, we are expecting temperatures to trend slightly cooler. That would keep the snow from melting for as long as possible. David Hokma is a hydrologist with the Idaho Department of Water Resources. He says Idaho normally reaches our peak snowpack on April 1st. So we have until then to build snowpack up and then hope for a slow melt to build reservoir levels as much as possible. The other good news is that we are expecting in the short term higher chances of precipitation over the next 10 days. You can see here we have higher chances of more rain happening, but that doesn't mean that we'll see large amounts of rain. So we're not really sure how much that would help with current drought conditions, but higher chance of it happening. 